Shanquella Robinson's murder motive has always stood out like a sore thumb to anyone who was interested. She was watching television with her friends, some of whom she regarded as her closest companion. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at Cabo 6 panics after manager finds dirt on Shanquella's suspect. Yeah, you heard it right. What potential motives could her friends have for her murder? Ultimately, such behavior is unlikely among friends. Now, according to leaked records, it may be possible to answer the question, why did the murder occur? Recent discoveries indicate that Shanquella Robinson received a PPP loan in May 2021 and returned it in March 2022. On the surface, it would appear that a loan is irrelevant in this situation. At this precise moment, things begin to deteriorate. We are aware that Shanquella was a very talented person. She was a businesswoman, model, and social media celebrity from North Carolina. Shanquella Robinson's hair braiding business was recognized internationally. As the inventor of the well-known baby brand Exquisite Baby, she was, to put it mildly, rather affluent. According to the facts, she would have had no trouble repaying the business loan she received. According to rumors, Shanquella regularly bragged about her achievements and performance. A friend of hers allegedly took out a PPP loan, but was unable to repay it. If Shanquella had reported the PPP loan, or even boasted about it, she would have inevitably fostered animosity between the two parties. Could this have prompted Shanquella's unilateral argument with her friend? Is this also the reason why no one intervened to stop the beating? Perhaps everyone was envious. There appear to be some evidence supporting the theory. The topic has also been previously published in news outlets. Thus, it is not entirely original. There are also unconfirmed reports that her friends murdered her because of a PPP debt. One source indicates that this is the case. To understand the conclusion though, we must return to the beginning. It could shed light on what went wrong between this group of friends. Shanquella Robinson and six of her college pals traveled to San Jose del Cabo, Mexico on October 28th for a week-long stay in a beautiful apartment. Within 24 hours of their arrival, the 25-year-old died. According to her friend, Ms. Robinson died of alcohol poisoning. After a day of excessive drinking, she dragged her stuff to her parents' house in Charlotte, North Carolina, who were heartbroken. On November 10th, an autopsy found that Ms. Robinson had been strangled, disproving the friend's story. She suffered a severe spinal cord damage and broken neck 15 minutes before her dying. Then, on November 15th, a horrific video of Shanquella being assaulted while naked in a resort hotel room was shared online. The approximately 20 second video shows a female attacker approaching Shanquella, knocking her to the ground and then continuously punching and kicking her. Shanquella falls to the ground helplessly in reaction. She was naked, however, her attacker was clothed. Shanquella is ridiculed by a man who looks to be filming the assault but does nothing to stop it. Possible overhearing of his defense against something. Shanquilla's father, Bernard Robinson, revealed in an interview that he believes the incident was staged by those that she believed to be her friends and acknowledged that the woman on the recording was his daughter. He added, My daughter is not a fighter, she is not at all a fighter. The incident's horrifying video went viral on social media, prompting a parent to call the police. The hashtag justice for Shanquilla started trending on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Since then, numerous contradictions have emerged between the Mexican government's official account of the circumstances before Shanquilla's death and what others assert transpired that evening. Approximately four hours before Shanquilla's dying, emergency responders responded to her in her flat. According to a police report provided to The Independent by investigative reporter Gerardo Zuniga, this report indicates that the alarm was initially activated on October 29th at 2.23 p.m. Shanquilla was asleep when Miss Robinson and her companions arrived at the luxury resort one day after the reservation. An hour later, a treatment was conducted. The police investigation indicated that Shanquilla's associates refused the doctor's recommendation that she be transported to the hospital because she decided to remain at the resort An ambulance was not summoned until she was in imminent danger of dying. Ms. Robinson reportedly experienced cardiac arrest, and a physician delivered 14 rounds of CPR, minor doses of adrenaline, and 6 defibrillator discharges. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.